Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Nick with OcuShaper, and um, today I'm going to walk you through designing a 6-4 double-winged groveler with a uh, beak nose. Yeah, so um, we're here in the Shaper, um, got it opened up, and uh, let's get started. So what we're going to do is um, start with a file new. This is where you can find all of our uh, stock models. And we already have a shortboard with wings, um, but I'm going to start from scratch just using a 6.0 shortboard. And um, so, yeah, go ahead and select that. Hit OK, and the board will load for you. Um, so first things first, we're going to start by resizing the board itself. Um, you can do that by clicking on this pencil in the dimensions box. And let's go ahead and make it a 6.4 by 19 and 3 quarters by 2.5. And we're going to hit the auto adjust slice and auto adjust rocker and thickness. This will essentially, um, as you scale a board up, it will make all the adjustments for you automatically. So go ahead and hit OK. And yeah, 6'4, 19 and 3 quarters, um, 2 and a half, a little over there um, with the auto adjust, but we'll go ahead and just drop that down. So 2 and a half. So cool, um, let's go ahead and uh, start putting those wings in. And um, I kind of just was using a board here at the house, so um, I kind of took where the wings were at on that. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the add guide to place a point where I can use as a reference to start to build my wings. And I'm gonna put the wings eight inches apart. So if you're looking at this X dimension up here, that's how far from the tail your cursor is. So 798804, go ahead and just drop that marker there. Just using this add guide as a reference point. So eight inches up from the tail and then another eight inches would be 16 total. So that's gonna be one foot, four inches. Go ahead and just, again, using the X at the top and drop that second guide point. So now I've established where I want the wings and how I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and add those wings in is I'm gonna use the add point and I'm going to put my wings, the start of my wing, right, right on that X. To add a point, you need to place it on the bottom half of the board here in the outline. So I place my one point, um, and that's going to be the start of my wing here. So what to do from there is add another point, and just add it wherever you want your dimensions to be, um, how wide and how far up you want your wing to be. So I'm going to drop it there. So the back end of my wing is... 745 inches from the tail and the front is 804 so it's about a quarter inch wing and what I'm going to do is just pull that second point out to create that wing there so that's wing one um, and then to tell how wide out that wing is is here's the width 13.83 uh, and 1272 so it's about an inch deep wing which is a little too much for me I'm going to actually just drop that back just a little bit so again, I'm using the width guide there to see how far the outer portion of my wing is and then the inner portion. So let's go ahead and add in that second wing. Um, using my second guide point here, I'm gonna put it just right center of where I had that. And same thing, add a second point. And then go ahead and pull your point out to create that second wing. Now from here, what you can do is use the zoom box to uh, zoom in on that portion of the board and you can adjust the sharpness of the wing and the shape and all that um, just using that zoom box to kind of get in there zoom fit will take you out of that and that's how we put in two wings right there so we're gonna keep going through um, go ahead and navigate to the slices tab this is where you can adjust your rails bottom concaves um, all of that and just for the sake of this video I'll show you how to put in a double and a single concave real quick so to create a double concave you're just going to adjust these control points in here to create the double concave and what it does is what whatever you change on this side of the board automatically gets changed over here so there's double concave and then for single you're going to go ahead and pull your rail line down on the out, outer rail and then adjust that point in to create that single concave. So if you were to add a channel in, which I'm not gonna do today because it's a double winged uh, groveler, so the channel just might be a little too much for this shape, but if you were gonna put a channel in, it's very similar to 
adding the wings. You just drop in two points wherever your dimensions call for, and you can start to create channels in the board. To create a second channel, just add more points in and keep pulling them down as so. If you hold your shift key down and scroll your cursor across the board, you can see how the shape blends into each other. What happens is these slices will blend in between wherever there's a slice at. So from this slice to this slice, it will blend in automatically here. If you were to remove this, it would blend in automatically to the edge of the tail. So I'm just gonna backspace, get rid of uh, my channel here, and continue on with the tutorial. So we'll navigate to the top and bottom tab, and this is where we're gonna go ahead and put that beak nose in. Um, so for the top, you can make top adjustments to your board bottom, bottom adjustments. If you want to make an adjustment to your rocker without navigating between top and bottom, go ahead and use uh, our T rocker and rocker tools here. You just select it, navigate towards the end of the tail, and use your arrow keys to raise both the top and bottom simultaneously. Now for the wing, I mean for the beak nose, we're going to navigate to the top tab. And again, similar to adding in channels, we're just going to add a point. This board is 6'4", so I'm going to put the wing, I mean the beak nose, um, about an inch and a half out. So we'll go ahead and add in that point and can start to make the adjustment for the beak. Now when I did that, I increased a bit of thickness here in the nose, so I'm just going to kind of pull that back down just a little bit. Now I want to get in and actually mess around with the beak. So again, the zoom box, I'm just going to select my working point. And at that point, I will go in and start to make the adjustment to the beak. Make sure I get it nice and flat. We're going to do a spot check to remove the tabs, see how we're looking. Pretty flat. Um, might move that yellow tangent up just one more. Go ahead and spot check it. That's looking pretty, pretty sharp. So zoom fit back out, and now we've added that beak nose in. Again, still a little thick in the nose section for my liking, um, so I'm going to just make a couple slight adjustments there and that's how we put the beak nose in so now navigate to the bay much like in real life um, I, I really enjoy looking at my design from the back of the tail I'm looking for any wobbles in the rail it's looking pretty sharp um, see my wings in there so I'll do a bit of a look there um, also like to get kind of a side profile look of the board see how the beak kind of blends in with the rockers and then let's just go ahead and just take a quick peek at the beak itself so yeah nice and flat smooth and that's essentially how you'd put together a double winged groveler um, with a beak nose So you'll be hearing from me during your trial. Um, just feel free to reach out anytime if you need any design help or have questions about how the process works. Um, myself or someone from our team will be happy to reach out to you and um, get you dialed in. Cool. Thank